Hello, back again to say, yes, I know I'm still very inconsistent on here. My house is still not put together, but I am going to get better one day. I started this channel with great hopes of being consistent. And I think this might be like my fifth video since I started the channel maybe five months ago. I don't know, but I'm gonna get better. I will, however, Right now, I'm sharing about a little issue we've had with our brand new, like six month new fridge. Oh, currently empty. Currently still a little stinky because we were gone on, we were gone on a week long trip and got back. We knew that the frit freezer had most likely gone out. It went out the night before we left. We thought the fridge was still working. No, the whole thing is dead, dead, dead. It wants to run, it's not running. And now our warranty file claim, you know, we had to put in is saying August 10th is the earliest date we can even get it looked at and that's two weeks away. So for two weeks, as of right now, we are not gonna have a fridge. I am hoping we will hear from them before that when they realize it's fully unoperational, but currently this is how we're living. Anyways, this is how we are currently living life right now. We have two coolers here. There's one right there, messy counter. It's just life. But thankfully we have some wonderful friends who let us borrow these. And I just wanted to share how amazing they are because if you are looking for a good cooler that holds things cold really well for a long time without spending the price that you'd spend on like a Yeti cooler. These, they're lifetime brand coolers. These are where it's at. So before we were told August 10th, we originally just borrowed the small one from them. And as you can see, this is just the beers that were in the fridge. But my husband went and stopped the cooler with ice. This was the original one. So I think this ice is like, three or four days old. And as you can see, it's mostly melted now, but still has some ice in it. Still cold, all the drinks are cold, everything in here, cold. We were originally thinking that would be enough to get us through like, well, not the beer obviously, but we would. We thought this would hold the food we need to get through, you know, a couple days until they could come look at the fridge. But then realized it was gonna be longer. And so we borrowed these as well. So super easy, super easy to lift. This is food, milk, all the things. Of course, I had forgotten to, well, I didn't forget, but I had a HelloFresh that I didn't even think about canceling. But super easy, super easy to lift. This has got more food. Again, ice still sitting in there. He went and got the ice for these. Like this one's got like a full, like the ice is still, there's still a lot of ice in there. He got these ice bags on Sunday, picked up these coolers from them on Sunday and filled it with all of our stuff, which of course I had forgotten had a HelloFresh coming. So that's in there holding its own, but the ice stays, everything stays really cold. They have this awesome little, you know, beer bottle opener if you need that. Lifetime cooler, everything locks tight. They're sturdy, you can sit on them. We're very, very, very thankful for them. Oh, dirty shoes, no worries. Just here we are. But this one has all of our condiments that were sitting in the fridge, the meat that was in the HelloFresh bag and everything again is still cold. You can see the condensation on it. This one, when I went to cook the pork last night, it actually still had some like ice sitting on top from when it had been frozen. In the HelloFresh bag. You can see this box bag of ice. It was a 16 pound bag, but it's been in there since early midday Sunday and it is currently noon on Tuesday. So the ice is staying frozen. Everything is staying cold well into almost 48 hours. If you are looking for a good cooler, oh, I'm falling. If you are looking for a good cooler that is not, you know, super, super expensive, highly recommend the Lifetime brand. 
The coolers are super easy to open and close. I can easily do it with one hand. When you close them and latch them back, they it, the air sucks tight. You can actually hear it like making the little air sucky sound. The bigger ones have two handles to carry on either side, as well as a drain for draining out your ice. The smaller one, which is this one, it has a metal handle and this one doesn't have a drain, but because it's small, it's easy to go ahead and just kind of dump. But yeah, everything is holding up. We are very thankful for that. It is definitely a little bit more work to be living out of coolers, but we're good, everything's good, food is staying cold, and we're thankful to have a way to cool them. So definitely recommend the Lifetime Coolers if you are looking for or in need of a cooler. And we are hoping we will hear from the warranty people before August 10th, but otherwise we're just riding cooler style for the next two weeks. Well, update, we did end up going ahead and investing in a little mini fridge. We got this one for just under 200 bucks at Walmart. We put all the food in there, some of the drinks, and then we are keeping the rest of the drinks in the smaller cooler. These, we're getting ready to dump the ice and water out of, and they will be going back to our friends. It is still going to be another two weeks until the fridge is hopefully fixed. The repairman came out and there is a part that's on back order because all of these fridges seem to have an issue with their compressor, I think it is. All of these new fridges have a butane compressor and they just don't hold up the way other fridges used to hold up. So one, let's start making things like we used to. And then two, this will, you know, be good to just have. All right, guys, thanks for watching this impromptu unplanned video and have a great day. Bye. If you found this video helpful, it would really mean a lot if you would give it a big thumbs up and click subscribe.